hello students welcome back to my channel in this video i am going to discuss in detail about the determination of strength of an acid in lead acid battery in general sulfuric acid is present in lead acid battery so we are supposed to determine the strength of the sulfuric acid present in the lead acid battery so in order to estimate the acid content we have to use the base here the base used is NaOH solution which is a secondary standard solution. So its molarity can be determined by using primary standard acid that is oxalic acid. So on the whole determination of strength of an acid in lead acid battery involves two steps. One is the standardization of NaOH solution using standard oxalic acid solution. And the second step is estimation of sulfuric acid present in the lead acid battery. Apparatus used are burette, pipette, conical flask, beaker, volumetric flask, etc. Coming to the chemicals, it involves the use of sulfuric acid from the lead acid battery, standard oxalic acid solution, NaOH solution and phenolphthalein is used as the indicator. Coming to the principle involved, here uh, whenever oxalic acid is titrated against NaOH solution, it results in the formation of sodium oxalate and water. The number of moles of oxalic acid is equal to 1, whereas the number of moles of sodium hydroxide is equal to 2. Similarly, whenever sulfuric acid present in the lead acid battery is titrated against NaOH solution, then it results in the formation of sodium sulfate and water. Here also the number of moles of acid is equal to 2 and the number of moles of sodium hydroxide is equal to 2. Coming to the procedure, it involves two steps. The first step being standardization of NaOH solution by using standard oxalic acid. Initially, the burette is filled with NaOH solution and then 10 ml of oxalic acid is pipetted out into conical flask to that one or two drops of the phenolphthalein indicator is added and the solution is titrated against NaOH solution until the colorless solution will be turned into pale pink. The whole titration will be repeated number of times until two concurrent readings are obtained. Then the values are tabulated as volume of oxalic acid, burette readings and the volume of NaOH run down. So whenever two concurrent readings are obtained, stop doing the titration and here the formula used is M1V1 by N1 equal to M2 V2 by N2. Molarity of oxalic acid M1 is equal to 0 0.15 mole molar. Volume of oxalic acid V1 is equal to 10 ml. Number of moles of oxalic acid N1 equal to 1. Molarity of NaOH we have to find out that is equal to question mark. Volume of NaOH V2 is equal to 10.6 ml. Number of moles of NaOH N2 is equal to 2. So here M2 can be determined by using the expression M1 V1 by N1 into N2 by V2. On substituting the values, here the molarity of the NaOH is obtained as 0 0.283 molar. Coming to the second step, it involves the estimation of strength of the sulfuric acid present in the lead acid battery. Here Sulfuric acid is pipetted out into conical flask to that one or two drops of phenolphthalein indicator is added and it is titrated against NaOH solution until two concurrent readings are obtained. Here the strength of the sulfuric acid can be determined by using the formula M2V2 by N2 is equal to M3V3 by N3. Molarity of NaOH is equal to 0 0.283 molar. Volume of NaOH V2 is equal to 6 ml. Number of moles of NaOH N2 is equal to 2. Molarity of the acid N3 is equal to question mark. Volume of an acid V3 is equal to 10 ml. Number of moles of an acid N3 is equal to 1. Here the molarity of the sulfuric acid can be determined by using the expression M3 is equal to M2 V2 by N2 into N3 by V3. On substituting the values, the strength of the sulfuric acid is obtained as 0 0.0849 molar. Once 
the molarity of the solution is calculated then it is possible to determine the amount of the acid present in the lead acid battery by using the expression molarity into molecular weight so that is equal to 0 0.0849 into 98 and that is equal to 8.30320 gram so finally coming to the result the strength of the sulfuric acid present in the lead acid battery is 0 0.0849 molar and the amount of the sulfuric acid present in the given solution is 8.320 gram if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching have a nice day